It's national meets regional. Welcome to Sidewalks Entertainment, the long-running celebrity, music, and art series. Join us now for an exciting new path to celebrity interviews, music, rising talents, and much, much more. Hey guys, welcome to Sidewalks Entertainment. Richard R. Lee. Today we're coming to you from Silicon Valley Comic Con. And we have a very special episode today. We have two of the lead stars of the classic television series, Leave it to Beaver. A little later in the show, we're going to have Jerry Matters. That's right, the Beaver. He will be on the show a little bit later. But right now, we have an equally important person, the older brother, Wally. This is Tony Dow. How are you doing? Hey, good. How are you doing? Let's shake It's good to see you. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Do you go to conventions a lot? Not too much, but I mean, I, I we since Jerry decided to to do them, we've done three, so uh -huh. it's been kind of fun, you know. Together, it's uh, you know people like like to see us together. Do you, do you feel like a little rock star out here being out here? All the people want to see. I've never felt like a rock star, but uh, that'd be good. <laughs> I wouldn't mind, you know. Now you were actually uh, born in Hollywood, California, and it was acting, you know, something. Given, I think your mom was a stunt woman. Yeah, actually, my mom was um, was Clara Bow's double. She looked exactly like Clara Bow, and she was a stunt woman. She was one of the first uh, stunt women to jump from a horse to a moving train or a stagecoach, and then back again. <coughs> so, but she just did it as a lark, you know. When she was 18, she was going to Hollywood High School, and somebody said, "Let's go down to the studio and see what's up." And so that's kind of how it happened. She was a horse person, so. Now, of course, everybody knows you from Leave it to Beaver. What did you do beforehand, before Leave it to Beaver? Well, I didn't do much. I was, you know, Jerry was busy from the time he was, I don't know. It's a two. Two? Yeah, okay. So, <laughs> that's what he claims, yeah. two. No, I think that's true. I think that's true. Um, I had done a pilot um, for Screen Gems called Johnny Wildlife, and that's actually the only thing I'd really done. We did two pilots. It was a very progressive kind of a show, but unfortunately it didn't work out, so... And then Beaver came along. Now, how did, he, uh, how did you audition for Beaver? How did you know about to audition for Beaver? Well, uh, I don't know if you mentioned, but the, um, they made a pilot, and Jerry was in it, Barbara was in it, and there were two other people as a father and Wally. Yeah. And uh, CBS said, okay, we'll, we'll take the show, but you have to replace the father and the older son. So they'd already looked at like 8,000 kids from all over the place. So they, you know, they knew pretty much who was around. And uh, from Screen Gems, they hired a guy named Harry Ackerman, who's sort of a classic old-time Hollywood producer. And he came over to be the executive producer for the first year. And uh, he said, hey, you know, I just work with a kid. He's kind of green, but you may want to take a look at him. So they called me in, and that was it. <laughs> How many episodes was Leave it to Beaver, the original series? 434. Wow. Or is it 40, 36? Uh, I don't know. 34, 36. Who's in, counting? In those days, you guys did like 30 to 35 episodes a season. Did 39. 39, yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. And nowadays, they can't, oh, we can't even do 10. <laughs> well, it's a little more complicated <laughs> yeah, nowadays. No. <laughs> Plus, nobody's will, willing to make the, uh, the commitment, you know. Got to make sure it's making money before you want to commit to anything. Oh, definitely, definitely. Our so, show never would have stayed on, I don't think, because in the beginning, we had a we had a review from Variety that said, "If this show makes it, I'll eat my hat." <laughs> and so the producer sent him a hat, but you know, it was uh, it was never a huge success. It was you know in the top ten or whatever, and we got nominated for an Emmy for writing, I think, and uh, but uh, it, it would have never lasted in today's world where everything's so fast. Yeah, I think it even moved networks too, right, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we went to ABC after the third year, second year, four, I don't know, something like that. Did you guys thought, okay, it's over, it's gone, or did it was re picked up really quick? Well, we didn't even know it had, anything had happened. Oh, okay. We just knew that we were now on ABC, so uh -huh. yeah. So, do you have a favorite episode from that series? There's so many memorable. There's so many great ones. You know, they really, and there, and there are so many moments that, to me, those are the most important things in a TV show. But uh, I think if you ask for my favorite episode, it was the one where um, Ward wanted to go back and show what his childhood was like. So he wanted to take the kids and mom to uh, Shadow Lake and uh, go fishing and 
be out in nature and whatnot. Of course, June had a problem because she couldn't figure out what to wear. <laughs> and and uh, the boys didn't want to go because, you know, Zombies from Outer Space was playing at the theater, and so we wanted to go to that. But okay, he piled everybody in the car. We go there. Uh, we go out fishing, catch a bunch of fish. And uh, as we come in, the guy who rented the boat says, well, I got quite a catch there. And he said, yeah, much better when I, than when I was a kid. And he said, yeah, well, we just, we just uh, stocked, the, stocked the pond yesterday. <laughs> so Dad was, oh, he was disappointed. That it wasn't, and so were the boys. And so anyway, cut to the end of the show. Um, Be careful on spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's a problem really much. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, at the end of the show, uh, Pop comes in and he, the kids aren't around and he asks Barbara, where uh, the mom, where, uh, where the boys are. And she said, well, they took the binoculars and they w went out, you know, uh, oh, probably out bird watching or looking at nature or whatever. So he says, I think I'll go out and take a look. He goes out and we're sitting on a hillside looking with the binoculars down the thing. And he says, well, what do you see, boys? And we hand him the thing and he looks down. It's zombies from outer space at a drive-in. <laughs> so that was one of my favorites, just because of the different scenes that were in it. And it had a great story. You know, you can't go back. You just, you know, it's never the same when you go back. Are you still amazed that there's so many fans out there watching this show? I mean, it's on MeTV and other places. It keeps flipping between networks, but isn't it amazing? Well, yeah, who would have thunk it? You know, I mean, it's like... 61 years ago, we went on the air, and we've never been off. I mean, it's, it's the longest-running show, I believe. I mean, Lucy, obviously, was on a long time, but th those were different shows. You know, it was I Love Lucy, The Lucy Show, Lucy and Desi, whatever it was. <clears throat> so, you know, I'm really proud to be part of it. Yeah. It's amazing. Uh, you know, uh, after Beaver, uh, I'm not quite sure of your timeline, but after Beaver, you, you did writing, and you're also uh, actually was known for a director, a lot of, uh, directing a lot of stuff. Yeah, I well, I actually acted uh, for quite a few years, and then uh, and then the new well, then Jerry and I went on the road doing a play, and we traveled around the country for 17 months, and that was fun, and then um, and then they brought the series back, and it was called the New Leave It to Beaver. And we did 104 episodes of that. <clears throat> and it was a terrific show. So unfortunately, they haven't been able to rerun it because of some technical fat, uh, problem that they have with Universal. But anyway, so um, let's see. Where was I? What was I talking about? You were about, about? Right, you, you writing? <laughs> oh, right. You, yeah, you wrote an yeah. episode for uh, uh, yeah, Still the Beaver or New Leave of the Beaver. Right. I wrote a couple of episodes, and I started directing there. <laughs> and then. Um, and then after the show was off, I kept directing. So I directed for about 16, 17 months or years. Jeez, I'm having trouble. My brain is, <laughs> there's too much going on here. I mean, look at, look at all these people. A lot of people here. Yeah, for sure. It's been funny, because I'm standing here looking at you, and I see on the corner of my eyes, people go, oh, yeah. that's Wally. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> oh, there's Beaver. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they expect that a science fiction comic right. convention. It's not Wally and the Beaver here. Yeah, that's true. Well, you know, what's funny is I thought, no, nobody obviously thinks of me as science fiction, but um, I was a visual effects supervisor on Babylon 5, and I was, a, Space Nine too. I was a director on Babylon 5, I did Deep Space Nine, I directed that. I was a visual effects supervisor on a Doctor Who two-hour movie, yep. and on a two-hour movie called The Adventures of Captain Zoom in Outer Space, so <laughs> I actually have a lot of connections to science fiction. Yeah. So, of all the things you've done in your life, uh, what brings you the most joy? Is it the acting or is it directing? Well, you know, I think the directing, um, I, you, you have a little bit more control of things. And, uh, you know, I never really got, I had one really good role as an actor. And it was shortly after the show, and it was called Four Feet in the Morning. It was a, a Dr. Kildare and an 11th Hour, so it was a weird thing. It went from one show to another show. First time they ever did that. And so when the Emmys came out, they didn't know how to, you know, put it up for nomination, so they didn't. And the director got the Director's Guild Award, the writer got the Writer's Guild Award, and the rest of us got bupkis. So anyway, we, uh, <laughs> that, that was, 
acting wise that was terrific so I mean I'd rather do a terrific job acting if it's in a good role and I, or I'd rather direct something that's really good yeah. so you know directing crap is no fun although <laughs> I, ha I haven't directed a lot of crap I directed a lot of things that were very difficult because they were low budget and they were fast you know like a half hour and three days and sort of stuff it was you're still you're still acting. You're still doing things. I mean, well, yeah. My wife and I go out and we do love letters, <laughs> and uh, that's about it. I mean, I'm I've got this um, this project that uh, I'm attached to, which is um, it's called Line Kings, and it's about it's a story about what happens in the three days prior to somebody going to see a new Star Wars movie. So it's like three days of that. Everybody camped out in the front of the Chinese theater and the uh, relationships they have and the problems they have. And I think it's a, it's a cute premise. And so we'll see, you know, as, as always, money is the hardest thing to come up with. So we'll see. Well, you know, nowadays in this world, reboots, continuations are this a thing right now. We got Will and Grace, Roseanne, Fuller House, Full House. What about another uh, uh, Leave it the Beaver type series, and a third series? <laughs> with, yeah. I mean, you guys, the parents or something again? I think, I think we killed it. I think we, <laughs> I think we beat a dead horse there. We, we, uh, uh, anyway, we, um, you know, we did the first series, then we did a movie of the week that was highly successful, and then we did a, the new series, the new Leave it to Beaver, and then we, um, then they made a feature film. And the feature film was sort oh, of a yeah, bust. Right. I didn't see it. Did you see it? No. Okay. Yeah, I didn't see it. And uh, I'm assuming you died from that. You didn't. It wasn't even in it either. Did they ever ask you? Yeah. Yeah. The, 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 <laughs> I'll tell you the story. The story is, they my we knew they were making it, and basically the guy who wrote it is one of my best friends, and he was supposed to direct it and. Um, he got Jingle All the Way, you know, the source. So he was directing that. So he wanted me to direct the, because I'd been directing and obviously being on the show, I knew the show. So um, went to the interview and whatnot. And I, I guess I didn't impress anybody because <clears throat> they didn't want me to do that. And then they hired the director from uh, Home Improvement, who'd never done single camera stuff very much. Anyway, so, um, so I knew they were doing it. And my manager tried to negotiate and say, "Look, you know, we're let's let's get something down here." Universal didn't want to do didn't want to do it. Then I got a call to show up for a wardrobe fitting, and I said, "What for what?" You know, and they said, "New Leave It to Beaver," or I mean, the, whatever the movie's name was. I said, "I don't know. I don't. I, I don't. I don't think I'm in it." And they they offered me uh, 1,200 bucks. So I figured, I, I don't think they really care much if I'm in it or not. So it was sort of an insult, I, I must say. Yeah. Well, nobody remembers it much anyway. Even you brought it up to me right now, go, oh, that's right, there was a, a yeah, remake. Nobody, I don't think people liked it much. So anyway, that's why I'm saying we're beating a dead horse if we try to bring up, bring it up again. You know, I mean, I think we've, you know, we've extended it about as far as it can go. Well, we, we need wholesome uh, family comedies like you guys did. I mean, that's something you don't see much nowadays on television. Yeah, that's true. Um, that's true. Well, you know, life has changed. I mean, it's quicker. There's a lot more stuff going on. People's attention spans are a lot shorter. So, and on, on, uh, on that's a weird looking creature. He's looking at that creature. So we actually got a shot of that. Oh, <laughs> good, good. At. Well, you can cut it in. Yeah, right? we got it. Yeah. We got the shot of that one. <laughs> uh, so anyway, I think that people, you know, r really, they for a comedy, they want a lot of laughs, a lot, you know. And what's interesting is I watch them, which I don't watch very much, and I never laugh. So uh, our show really was just looking for warmth and smiles and not... We didn't get in the way of the story with a laugh and that kind of stuff. So I don't know if people, you know, people would, like I said before, if it had gone on the air now, I'm not sure it would have stayed around. Most shows don't make it on the air now. They stay long. Yeah, but there's so many places. I mean, yes. with Netflix, Hulu, and, yeah. you know, all, all the 
You know. Well, luckily we got the reruns. Luckily, you know, 400 and yeah. blah, blah amount of episodes. I mean, you guys brought a lot of joy to us. So on behalf of the entire world, thank uh -huh. you very much for what you have done. Oh, well, I thank you, too. That's, <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah. And it's, it's a, untrue. It's a good feeling. It's a good feeling. I'd rather watch, uh, if I had to pick my own show and leave it to Beaver, I'm watching your show. <laughs> um, Different I was going to say, probably I would too, but I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no. You know, uh, one last thing before we uh, leave here, uh, you have so many fans out there who have supported your career. They're not here. They don't get a chance to go, hi, how are you doing? Like, I, I'm so lucky right now. What would you like to say to your fans out there uh, who's watching this? Hey, well, thanks for hanging in. I mean, uh, all the fans that saw the original show, you know, were dropping like flies. So <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's, I really appreciate the fact that the show's been on for 61 years, never off the air, and it gets, uh, you know, people still love it. it. People get that warm feeling. So thanks, fans, for that. Well, thank you again for all of it. And thank you for taking the time. I know there's a lot of people who want to get your autograph and his pictures and everything, but thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Okay, good. Tony Dow. Coming up in just a moment, we're going to have some more music, but then we're also going to have Jerry Matters, the beaver, a little bit later here on Sidewalks. The squirt. <laughs> For more full-length celebrity interviews, visit SidewalksTV.com.